Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll start recording now. Uh, cause I'm, I'm just gonna jump into it. I have no idea. It's like, I, I mean, I know a lot about the story itself, but it, from, uh, specifics of this game, I don't really have much of an idea. Uh, I've seen what the graphics look like, that's about it. Um, so this will be much more, for me, more of the puzzles and the characters, cause I, uh, I don't know anything about the other characters. They look very interesting. And knowing the series, they uh, they should probably have some entertaining ones there. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens. Uh, it's time to zero times nine. Escape from the doors. Hmm. Let's just zero. Uh. This voice isn't new, okay. I didn't realize that. I fell pretty far. That really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake! But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Yeah, anyway. I don't really know, I mean, since these aren't actual cutscenes anymore, I don't know how often I'll be interjecting, but, uh, and if I don't, then I guess I'll never get a word in. <laughs> What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! <sighs> huh? What the hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. It, a watch? Except it isn't. Wait, what? Five. That's... that's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. Ugh. 
No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Ah, ah, my head. Huh. This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Ah, I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the... Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What... What the hell is going on here? What the hell? God damn it! Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something! It's... it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. I need to find a way out, and fast. Okay. So that's what I thought. I didn't actually think it had voice acting, so that can't be a surprise. What in the fuck am I looking at? Hello? Some, uh, some CG there. I was so like... Oh my oh god! <laughs> thing I have ever seen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Then take him out. favorite characters in the alphabet. No. Alright. There's nothing on it. Nothing at all. <laughs> it kind of feels like it, yeah. kind of feels like a Flash game with a budget. Which I guess it kind of was, really. It's like a waterfall, because water is falling out of it. I have zero chance of surviving if I don't escape. shapes. Can I, like, rotate this? Or... This is very strange. Oh dear. Alright, well. Probably doesn't mean a whole lot to us right now. Way ahead of you, game. 
This ain't my first rodeo. I started with the third game, obviously. Oh, do we still have, like, the notes feature? Like, uh... That's a calculator, I guess? Uh, that's nice. So, if I remember correctly from my adventures in the other game... Uh... This, uh, has a chance to crash on me randomly and then I'll lose everything, so I'm not gonna let that happen again. Totally a stove. Uh, I see Junpei is as smart as ever. I'm trying to rotate the camera like I'm playing the other one, but it's like, no, these are all fucking, uh, still images. Why did that make a bunch of beeping noises? There's the, uh... That's the person I know. Um... Boy. Uh, where are my stuff? Hello? No. Uh, item. Ugh. Oh, it's a top left item. Duh. Okay. <laughs> Giving this a shot. It's just seven three seven three. Ah. So was the beeping, like, the outer monologue, and then the quiet is the inner monologue? What the... Should probably hold on to this key. Like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? How did I get so young? I left work, headed back to my apartment, 
and I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. Oh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. What? Who were... I... I can't... Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him... Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Just who was that? They said, you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game? Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! Well, that was distracting. Huh. That's strange. Also, yes, this is... First time playing this game in particular. I played the third one first, so I know that, uh... All the story is kind of... You know, spoiled and all that, but, you know, the puzzles are cool. And I like the characters. They're fun. And sometimes hilariously stupid. Water sure is pouring in. <laughs> this is hell. Uh, can I unscrew these giant screws with my screwdriver? All right. So, I think this very simple puzzle has already got me stumped. Unless I'm reading it upside down. screwing this up already, Ooh. Jesus. What in the hell have I done wrong? <laughs> Oh, 
Did I do the wrong numbers? Did I get the numbers wrong? Is that what I did? Uh, oh, f I, can st I thought these are the same triangles on both sides. I didn't realize they're actually flipped. Might be. So... Six, three, okay. I'm silly. <laughs> I'm just... This is the worst. <laughs> I'm the worst. Where does that actually... Okay, so does that have to be... Yeah, yeah, so it'd be... Seven, three... I'm so terrible. Seven, four? Seven, four, six, three. Right. Alright. I guess I'm overthinking with the colors, honestly. I can't do this shit right. <sighs> terrible, terrible. Okay. Slow down. Seven. Four. Six. Three. Someone, please save me from this. What I, I'm overthinking this, apparently. <sighs> or am I supposed to do math? Is that it? Am I supposed to do math? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Ah, uh, I actually don't think I can. Uh. Even everything is just kind of, you know, this pre-rendered thing. Everything doesn't stick out nearly as much. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I just have to get used to the sort of strange uh, way everything's laid out visually. You know, with 3D models, everything kind of pops. But uh, hey. Okay. So. I think I'm finally done embarrassing myself. Potentially. So. Zero, two, six, three. Alright, so that didn't work for a second. I'm 
so excited to open this thing and get a journal. a bunch of crap to get you on your journey. <laughs> okay. That's a recurring thing. I thought I was going to have to do this for one puzzle, but no. Oh boy. This looks like a mess. That's the 7 4. 8. 5. Four, Oh, that's some bold font right there. I understand that. I didn't mean to... None of these will add up to five. Because uh, doing this in my head it would be uh, complicated. Oh, the order does matter, doesn't it? <laughs> or no, no, it doesn't. Oh, 
What a way to start this shit off. Okay. That's a new noise! Is it... is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a... hallway? I think you're in the Matrix, like in bullet time. Oh. A door! Another door! Damn this water, Grandma! Let. Me. Go! Oh, yes! It opened! What? What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Uh... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here! Sea uh, deck! B deck! Hurry! Hurry! Uh, A deck's next! What? People! A lot of people. Um... Uh, I guess it's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. S silver hair? Huh? <laughs> one of us, huh? W what? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh, huh. Uh. <laughs> ah. What was that all about? This is the best voice acting well. Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Uh. The doors on A deck are no good! We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Whoa. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? Four? And this one says. Five. Did the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. M me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <sighs> Open! Damn it! 
Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. At least a super move on it. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. Huh. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still... Ugh. Damn it! Are there any other doors? Uh. Huh? Yeah. Well, that was extremely weird. Watch out! Yeah. Oh my gosh, is that you, Jumpy? Akane. Spell with the brackets. This is... That guy in the gas mask! Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? Nonary game. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? Aren't you supposed to be in, like, Diablo or something? What? 
On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. There is one monster I want to tell you. A small crowd on the spies. This ship has begun to sink. A man of fortune, right to be quelled. If men is watching by the Titanic, the match ends where it's born. A poor man who blows for two hours and four minutes. That voice effect is terrible. Like, I. Like, no one can understand that. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Hey! You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! I fucking... I love Chip Zanoff already. He's great. Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nutjob just doing this to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? I was wondering because it, it seems... Hilariously stupid. And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Oh my god, that guy's voice is driving me nuts. It, it... Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this, this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. 
Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then? Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. It looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device, either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. This one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man! Give me a hand! Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. That's a neat trick. <laughs> it won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. A gun. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door... It's for Genesis. That was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. We did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. There. The two doors next to the stairs. We're going to be in this for a long ass time before the next falls in room, aren't we? The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I think it's just a cross there symbolizing that all of Earth needs to die. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. 
Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows too. Huh. They're all covered. In other words... We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Well, Zero said the point of the game was to survive, so... If you don't want to do what he does, then... Or want you to do... Just kill yourself? Yes. I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh... Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junfei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! He's creepy! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. Alright, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, Sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? No. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. Because a snake has two legs. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. You can't see? I knew it. Me next! Is no one gonna ask him how he... Oh, whatever. I want to be Clover. You know, like a four-leaf Clover. Good luck, right? That's just your fucking name. Alright, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be... Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
then you should all call me by my name too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right then, uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the, it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is Seven. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not going to stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? It's called a gun. You sure you want to know? Yeah? All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back. Ah. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Uh. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you going to do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here. Verify. <gasps> the left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel. The round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now! You're not really selling me on the stuttering there, guy. Just saying. I'll kill you if I have to! All I need is your bracelet! <laughs> Just do it! Do it now! Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets, and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door 5. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? Uh, because he read the instructions? I mean... It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next? You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. 
I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now that advice has both Clover and Ace's numbers, four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Uh, who? Who does he need? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen, and the digital root of fourteen. One plus four is five. In other words... <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Good. I don't need you anymore. Oh God, the clashing art styles. <laughs> She's all yours! <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye! Clover! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! Bastard! Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. I'm gonna miss that guy. Do you hear something? Like, what? Like, some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! It's so annoying. Ugh. You... you lied! Lied? This, this wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ah, God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Occupado. Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen! I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number. But it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. Oh boy. Okay, good. It just flat out tells me which one to work. Good, because I'm... Not very smart. Oh. Ah. Uh, why don't the audience pick? Let's uh, let's put it to a vote. Uh, me personally. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's a tough choice. I kind of like Snake and Seven as a combination. That sounds pretty good, but... Uh, put in your votes now if you care at all. Or otherwise, I'll just pick something at random. Or just the first option, because, you know, we're going to have to go through all of it anyway. <laughs> he knows too much. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm with Melv. We gotta see what these guys are up to. I, I guess. I mean, we kind of already... Whatever. Snake, Seven. You think you could give me a hand here? Hmm? Hmm. <sighs> Five plus two plus seven equals fourteen. The digital root of fourteen, one plus four, equals five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Oh my god! Good god! That was the worst CGI I've ever seen! That's... pretty bad. He... he blew up. Ah! June! Uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh... Alright, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Uh, are you all right? Why? <laughs> Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> Did that choice even matter? It's ten o'clock, then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about is up! Let's get going already! Go! Go! No. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? Blood. Oh. Ew. Blood? Blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. <clears throat> I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... <sighs> All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said? Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door, right? And after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? Uh... Wait, what? Why is this an option? Okay. 
All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but... That seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? I mean, he read it, so... Uh, huh? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? <laughs> I see. This is Braille. Right, of course. Sorry, guys, I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you and the people who you are about to meet. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. I have no doubt, by the time you read this note, the bar will have passed your stomach and found its way to your small intestine. In other words, you will be unable to regurgitate it, I suggest you do not try. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a bit near. Think of it as a remote field, or timer, for the bar in your body. There is only one condition to call it detonate. That condition is that you enter a number door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. If, after my time, the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the brain must also verify their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side, and the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the brain will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. He left, like, an entire novelization in Braille in my pocket. Thanks. That is to say, if you had passed through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. You must also keep in mind 
that the number of doors will close automatically after nine seconds have passed. Also, yeah, I mean, if you, uh, if you weren't aware, this is most definitely inspired by Saw 2. Like, not that I read that anywhere, but after seeing the movie Saw 2, there's no doubt in my mind. Because <laughs> it has, like, nine people in it, I'm pretty sure. So long as the door is open, the day will not function. You will do well to remember this. Lastly, last discuss how to remove the bracelets. Oh my god, how long is this fucking note? There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the air exit where its heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off, when you say go to the air, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the number doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The Reds, Deads, and Bracelets enforce the rules. They're Judge, Jury, and Executioner. Oh, 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 oh. Shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! There's a bomb inside me. Oh. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? All right, I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? Yeah, I saw that too. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so... All of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. Well, I mean, I, I think Snake didn't see the gas mask, but did. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you, anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Ah, oh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. Wait, huh? You connect the dots between the victims, and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell? Ring a bell? 
Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. I fucking love this guy. This guy's great. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! You really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man, I just bought these shoes. I just got them from Santa. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another think coming. Another think. What the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah, so? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine, I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry, you'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and Snake is two. And if you add Clover's four in my one, the digital route will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital route of 14, one plus four is five. Yeah, he just said that. Thank you. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital route going to be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Eight, three, six, five. What would our digital route be? Oh, come on. Why do I have to do this? Is it just so, like, if I get it wrong, someone will be like, "Eh, idiot. Okay, I'm gonna do this in my head because I'm great. Um... It's five? Ugh, what? Hello. Huh? Oh. Oh. Is that five? I'm gonna double check that. So I wanna be sure. No, 
was 22. So it's 4. Maybe. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 is 22. So, the digital root of 22, 2 plus 2, equals 4. It's 4. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is 4. Then we can go into door 4. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. I know. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. But our lives might. I... Which door? Uh... I don't think I should bother... Uh... Asking every time. Uh... Unless anyone has any inputs, but uh... I think I might just kind of go. This is an actual choice this time and not just garbage. Some wonderful flavor. <laughs> well, I think it's more so about the people, but then again, uh, I already lost track of who was going everywhere if we switched around, so screw it. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the first one and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. This should be fine. It's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace and the others are going. Uh. Now then, goodbye. Be careful. So horrible. What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake! Let's go! Hey! How is it over there? Did you find anything? Say something, will you? Oh, it's great. It's real comfortable. Something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? Uh. <laughs> uh. Hey, there it is! That's gotta be that dead thing! <laughs> that blood splatter, that's gotta be that dead guy! Come on, get over here! We gotta authenticate! The beeping stopped. Phew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys! Are you doing all right over there? Yep, we're fine. Oh, hey! I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? It sucks. The dead is just like the red, but the color's different. You know how the red was red? Really? 
Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same too. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That helps a lot. <laughs> really doesn't. Well, we could probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Whew. Now it's our turn. I'll go first. Okay. We ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Run! Oh, damn. It's counting down. We can't go back! We need to hurry and find the device. Hey! Where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap! Start looking! I already am! Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck! We don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. It, it won't open. Shit, this one's no good. Same here. It's not moving! Oh. There it is, at the end of the hallway. Run! Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds! I know that, goddammit! I'm asking you how many seconds we have left! Hurry! It's the dead! Get over here! Come on, everyone! Looks like it stopped. <sighs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. A keyhole. What's this mark? It mail? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Well, technically, they are the same symbol. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. The sun, Saturn, and Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Yeah, so, I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. The door on the left has B92, and the one on the right says B93. All right, let's open them. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One, two, three! Hey, it opened. Yeah, it did. I'm proud of myself. I, uh, I didn't expect that. It was so easy. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Okay. Okay. I was actually... Oh, okay. I actually forgot they showed me this, so... It... Can I get back to this view in some way? Maybe that's what the, uh, the other screen is. Oh, there's Amy 
the map. I, wait, yeah, there it is. Alright, okay. That probably helped a little bit. Um. I'm actually looking for just, like, a stopping point for, like, the last hour, I think. So I can kind of mess with the, uh, some of the settings here. Uh, I'm gonna stop the recording real quick, uh, just to break it up. I want to try to get the chat a little more viewable. <laughs> yeah, that just paused everything. <laughs>